realized that the wrong side We fell in love at the wrong time Too many breakups, too many makeups Just to pretend like it's alright I know there were times it was unreal But most of the time it was unfair I know there were times I was never there But there were never times that I never cared I swear Hello then and brought up I'm so sorry I messed it all up Can we please Hello guys. So let's get with the let's get started with the understanding of the code. So basically, uh, to get the better understanding, you can read this uh, article, this tutorial. I'll uh, give the link in the description. And so this is basically the this audio player basically follows this and it's just that background audio f in flutter with audio service and just audio so we are going to use the audio service and the just audio so if you want to better understand it you can read this i'll just put the link in the description and uh, so let's get started with the basic idea of this application so the basic idea is that we going to home and uh, then what we want is that we want to first check that if we are allowed to actually you know access the storage of the application if we are allowed we can and if it's not allowed then we will uh, just show uh, we will just uh, the next step will be to basically fetch the songs from the playlist okay so this get songs method will be called when we want to query the songs from the storage okay so what will it do it will basically go use the audio query dot query songs and when it completes it will just set the state so basically it will just refresh it and the all songs is a list of song model basically provided by the on audio query platform so if you can if you want you can read about it and this list will be empty initially, but it's a growable list, so it can be growable, you know. So, the same will be in a list for the playlist to show the playlist in the application. Basically, it will be the playlist that are stored in actually the storage of the phone. So, if you are trying to access a playlist created by an other player you can access that so starting over the build method there's not much in it and i'm not going to go through everything it's just that some simple widgets that are working around so the playlist card the icon button the section header these are just simple things and i hope you will understand these it's there's not like much thing to understand right here so you can read about it and it's uh, super easy and I hope you will get it so the next thing is that if you want to go to the player screen so basically the player screen is a screen where the actual audio will be playing so <clears throat> this player screen is the place where you actually want to play the music so first of all you want to like show an icon to a basically like you know uh, put the screen back or to go back so these are all the widgets the center song title it will be a widget and uh, this widget will be based on the valuable listener builder so basically the valuable listener builder what it does is that it's using the page manager okay and the page manager is basically providing with all the values and when the values change we are just listening to it so basically when we are listening to a value or we are basically registering us to listen to a value the when the value changes we want to basically you know uh, get the change value and uh, on the basis of the change value we are going to perform some actions so basically what we will want over here is that in the current song title so let's say we want 
the page manager should basically notify us when the song title changes so page manager your current song title notifier and this notifier will basically tell us when there will be a change or basically it will notify us when it will receive a change in the current song title okay so it's not much of an like kind of an understanding but it's super easy and to basically move the text i've used the te the marquee package and uh, it's easily accessible from the pub.dev so the current song title is done and uh, let's let's just see the page manager so the basically page manager what will it do if we go to the main you can see that we are registering the page manager and we are using the init call okay so the basically the init method what will it do first it will request the permissions so what it's doing is that it's checking for the permissions then the get songs to get the songs then the playlist so it will just add the playlist and then we are registering this so basically what we want over here is that we are registering us that audio handler dot q dot listen so basically we are we have registered ourselves that to the audio handler that when the audio handler receives something that okay the playlist has changed it will just notify us and when we have registered this we will be notified when the playlist has changed learn to the playback state listen to the playback state the playback state we are just listening to the playback state from the audio handler and it's all the uh, everything is the same case for all of us so load playlist we'll just load the initial playlist and basically the song repository is the is the same place where you will be play you know getting the songs into the audio handler so basically you will provide the audio handler with all the songs that are in your device i've not much i've not changed it much in the tutorial where they here he, uh, he uses some random songs from the internet but i've used it and i modified it to basically get the audio from the device itself so i just close it and uh, it's just all the same changes listen to the current position so basically we are asking audio service that position dot listen and we are registering us ourselves that when there is a change in the position you have to notify us so it's just doing all that and you can go through it it's super easy and you will easily understand it and if there is an issue you can refer to the tutorial it's uh, explained in very detail so i'll just close it and there's not much of a thing in here the progress notifiers these are just notifiers when there will be a change in the progress of the audio and the repeat button notifier it will just you know provide us with the value when the repeat button is changed the value of the repeat button is changed or the repeat button is set so the song model i'll just delete it because uh it's not there's no need of it so the screens are there and the routes are provided the song screen the song list screen and i hope you people will understand it and the demo is provided in the initial setup in the initial start so you can check that and if there is an issue you can ping me up and i'll be happy to reply you